We can. It's possible. Uh, but you need to know it's possible. So that when you go and see your physician, when you see your uh, MP or your MLA, uh, you can tell them that this is treatment, it's evidence-based, I need it, help me to get it. Uh, it is just care, in Canada, health care is a right. If you need this, you should be have a right to receive it. I, I want to tell you a story about Wendy Muckle, who I met in Ottawa at a, a smoking cessation conference uh, several years ago. Uh, and she works at a clinic in, in downtown Ottawa called uh, Inner City Health Ottawa. And uh, she was on a panel with me at the smoking conference and she was very interested in what we were doing. Uh, she uh, is the director of a small uh, inner city health clinic. She said, we've got about 30 people who use injectable opioids every day. Uh, we're also providing uh, some uh, alcohol maintenance. Uh, but we just want to provide best care to folks. What is best practice? And uh, she said, if prescription heroin or injectable hydromorphone are what our folks need, then we want to be able to offer it to them. And she said to me that we don't have fentanyl yet in Ottawa, but we know that it will come, and we want to be ready when it does. And she sent her her staff out to learn from us uh, back in the in the winter, and they are now prepared to start offering injectable hydromorphone at their clinic in Ottawa in just a couple of weeks. Uh, and I think that's remarkable. And you can look this up, it's, it's been covered by the CBC and, and by the Ottawa Citizen, uh, so you don't need to take my word for it. Google uh, Ottawa Inner City Health. Uh, and there's a senator in Ottawa, a retired police officer, his name is Vern White. Uh, when the Ottawa Citizen asked him what he thought about this, he said, well, I've been calling for this forever. It's about time we started this. And he said that he was going to march down to Ottawa Inner City Health and congratulate Wendy Muckle himself, because this is exactly what needs to be done to confront this crisis. It is possible to provide hydromorphone and diacetylmorphine. We now have Health Canada allowing access to diacetylmorphine prescription heroin through the SAP and also through an emergency access path pathway. It is now possible to provide this as treatment. There are no regulatory barriers. Now it can be slow to get new treatment programs up and option and running, but they can be scaled up and they can be scaled up quickly. Uh, Denmark instituted a large number of prescription heroin clinics in a matter of months. So uh, it's possible. So just uh, in closing, I just want to tell you Injectable treatments are possible. Dilaudid, hydromorphone, diacetylmorphine prescription heroin can be available as treatments. But unless you ask for it, it's not going to happen. So get out there, ask for it. Let people know that this is a treatment you need. Side effects? Well, the, the, the side effects are the same as any opioid. So there is the potential for respiratory depression. Uh, and because of that, we're recommending that people would, would use in a supervised setting where there's uh, health professionals around. Yeah, so I'll, I'll be around. If you have some questions, I'd be happy to take some questions. Robert, Robert, you coming? Way to go. Thank you very much. Before we hear from the next speaker.